Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I'm going to bring you CC Cycle 2, Week 2 Hands-On Science Experiments. Today we've got two experiments, they're from our Van Cleves book on page 13 and 14. So we've got number 24, which is Mirage, and number 26, which is Distortion. So you could really do either one of these experiments first. And we're going to be talking about how we see the sun or how our view of the sun changes because of the atmosphere and how light can bend and change how we see things. So it's really cool. If you want to start off your class reminding them of what the scientific method is. So we have a little song that we like to sing with it. So we say the scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. So that's just a, one, a fun way we remember the scientific method. And for these experiments, I also like to have on hand um, Nicole Liam's science scripts, which you can find on CC Connected. And I'm sure they're on the new CC Connected as well. But she just has some, she kind of breaks it down by the scientific method and she usually has some really good questions to bring up as you're going through these experiments. And like I said about last week, you know, sometimes if you feel like you get stuck as a tutor, as a teacher, trying to uh, go through these experiments, you're not really sure what to do next or what to say next, or if it doesn't go the way you planned, because that can that happens in science. The best thing to do is just ask questions. Get curious. Okay, why did that happen? Why didn't that work the way we thought it would? So just ask questions, and it's really fun to see what they come up with. So I'm going to start with number 24, Mirage. And so we're talking about the sun, sunrise and sunset. So you could ask them, who has seen a sunrise or sunset? And they'll raise their hands. And ask them also what a mirage is if they've ever seen a mirage like have they ever been um, in the desert or in a really hot dry place have they seen what looks like water on the horizon but it's not really there or on a really hot day if you're in a parking lot and you see you know it's like things are kind of moving and because of the heat coming off of the pavement so a, a mirage is something that makes us see something that's not really there and so when we have a sunrise or a sunset, we are, the sun itself has actually set below the horizon. Um, so we'll say sunset, it's, it's set below the horizon, but we can actually still see it. And we're gonna figure out why. So um, some things you wanna define, and um, Nicole Liam in her explanation here has some really good definitions. So ask him, what is light? see what they come up with. So light is actually a wave. It travels in waves and it reflects off of a surface. So when we see something, it's light hitting the object and bouncing to our eyes. So it's reflecting back into our eyes. So that's how, and then our brain interprets what it is that we see. And so our brain likes to think that light moves in a straight line. So whatever is right in front of me, I see it, it bounces back, it's straight out in front of me. But sometimes light doesn't move that way. Sometimes it refracts. And that's when light is actually bent. The light wave is actually bent. So this was a fun way you can demonstrate it. So you could take a straw and a glass of water. And when you put it in the glass, it looks like this straw is broken but it's not broken but the light is refracted through the water so if you have ever been in water like a bathtub or swimming pool do you move differently in water is it do you have to move is you move slower in water do you just move differently in water so so does light light moves differently through water light moves differently through different thicknesses of air so you ask about what is our atmosphere. Our atmosphere is made up of all these gases. And we'll talk more about that too. But so light um, can change. Light can be bent. It's not always in a straight line. So we're going to demonstrate that.
that and what you'll need is I've seen this done two different ways so I'll show you um, both ways you'll need either clay or I'm gonna be using some play-doh today you'll need a coin um, I recommend like a bigger coin like a quarter and then you'll need some water you have a pitcher full of water um, you can have a clear container or you can have like a, a bowl with like opaque sides that you can't see through. I'm going to show you this way first. I kind of like this way better. Um, and then you can have paper towels or a towel on hand because we're using water. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your bowl and just a little bit of clay or Play-Doh. This is basically just to keep your coin from moving when you uh, fill the bowl with water. So just kind of you're gonna stick your clay on your coin first. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put the coin um, towards the edge of the bottom of the bowl. So just stick it on there really good so it's not gonna move. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to change my camera around so you can see what's happening in the bowl. Okay. So we have our coin in the bowl. Now I'm gonna move the bowl. You can just have your students step back and we're gonna step back until, so this is gonna be like our horizon. So we're gonna step back until we can no longer see our coin like our sun. I'm gonna tilt it up a little. Okay, so that coin, our sun has set below the horizon. So now I'm going to pour some water in and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna do it just so you can no longer see it. Okay. You can start to see something happening. We can start to see the coin. So it got a little cloudy, but I think you can see. We can see that we can start to see our coin come above the horizon, but it actually never moved, which is pretty pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of focusing on the wrong thing. But we saw the image of the coin move. Even though the coin never moved and my camera never moved, we could see the image of the coin even though the coin's position never moved. Now I want to try it again with the clear container. So I'm going to take another piece of Play-Doh because once the Play-Doh gets wet, it gets kind of slimy. Okay. So I'm going to dry off my quarter. All right. So we got a new piece of Play-Doh. A little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to use our clear container instead and we're going to put it in the center so then we're going to um, back away or just move it until you can no longer see it from the top so I can't see it from the top you can still see it from the sides which is one reason I, I like the the bowl you can't see through but we're going to say, okay, we can't see the coin right now. So I'm going to pour the water in to the clear container. And you can see the same thing that the image of the coin is moving. But our coin itself never moved. So that one you can see a little bit better that the coin itself never moved, but we can still see the coin because 
the water refracted or bent the light. So that is what happens at a sunrise or a sunset um, when the sun is still below the horizon. We can see it, we can see its image come up before the sun itself actually goes above the horizon and that's because the light is bent. And Nicole has a really um, awesome picture describing um, this phenomenon. So if we're here on the earth and the sun is down below the horizon, the atmosphere, the gases, act just like our water, and they bend the light from the sun so that we can see it here on earth. But our brains like to interpret that the light moves in a straight line. So our brain thinks that the sun is already way up here when really it's down here because the light is bent. So that is the first experiment. Second experiment, you're gonna need a piece of paper and either a compass to draw um, a pretty even circle or you're gonna just need something to trace. You, know, you could trace um, something that you know is a perfect circle. And I did this two different ways. So I did just an outline of a circle and I did it where I colored it in and you'll need a magnifying glass. So I found this one at the Dollar Tree. So you can have um, students work in pairs or you can have them just take turns. So we're gonna learn about why the sun can look like a different shape. So sometimes, and they may have seen this on like, um, if they've seen a video of a sunset, they might see that the sun itself, it doesn't stay, doesn't look like it stays a perfect circle, that it kind of changes shape, flattens out or like it's kind of melting into the horizon. So it's distorted. And that's one of our vocabulary words for this experiment is distortion. And that's when its actual shape changes. And that's also because of the refracted light. So both these experiments are talking about refracted light. And it's kind of another optical illusion. So like a mirage, something that's not really there or it changes reality of what's really there. So. We are going to take our piece of paper um, with our circle. And you, I would recommend trying it at home before uh, doing it with your class just to see what works best. Um, you can hold it parallel to your paper like this and move it back and forth and up and down. Um, I also recommend like tilting your magnifying glass as you in passing it over your circle and see how that changes it. And I will show you what it does. So I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, so we'll start with this one. So we know like it can get kind of bigger so I'm gonna pass it over and we're gonna see if the shape of it changes. You can kinda of see how it's kinda of distorted there. It doesn't look like a perfect circle. I also tried it this way too, like it's rising and setting. So on a magnifying glass, the, the thickness of the glass is different in different parts of it. So you see there, it kind of is getting longer. We can try it with this one too. So just have the students kind of experiment and see if the image changes or what angle their magnifying glass needs to be at for it to change. So you can see, you can see it's kind of getting longer. So that's distortion. And see if there was anything else. So it's the same with the image of our sun as it goes down below the horizon or, or sets that because the atmosphere is, the light has to go through more of the Earth's atmosphere down at the horizon, it's gonna refract the light more. So it's gonna change how the sun looks. And Nicole has another graphic here just showing how the light is bent, it's refracted, 
but our eyes want it to want it want to believe that the light is coming straight at you. So this sun is actually kind of squished and it's not fully round. So it's like an optical illusion if you've ever um, had books or seen gone to an art museum where there's been optical illusions you could have like a flat canvas but it can look like it's popping out at you or it can look like it's even moving so it's really cool how that can work so those are those two experiments and i'll see you guys soon bye